By the 1970s, the once thriving anthracite roads were struggling to survive. The long decreasing demand for coal, along with a series of other contributing factors, left these roads in spiraling financial decline. These railroads managed to keep the freight rolling into the mid-70s with little resources available. But the die was cast and all the anthracite roads would eventually be swept into Conrail in 1976. In Volume 2 of Anthracite Railroads in the 70s series, we'll look at the ailing operations of the Lehigh Valley Railroad from Bound Brook, New Jersey to Triclers, Pennsylvania in the final years leading up to Conrail, including the joint Penn Central ore trains and the DNH run-through trains. We're going to start in Jersey. This is the Apollo shortly after they purchased the GEU 23Bs. And this is about in December or January of 74, 75. This is at Bound Brook. There used to be a set out to the CNJ Somerville ramp that came down with the Apollo. And this is the Apollo in the act of setting them out. You can see the G's are a little dirty, so it's uh, towards the end of the month or early January 75. Notice the sand on the slippery G's on the trucks. Here's the Apollo coming across the Delaware River at Peaburg. That's the town of Easton in the background. Notice he has four units also. The Apollos ran pretty heavy at this time. Now here's a coal train. You'll see it later at a couple other spots, but this is a coal train coming for the Bell Dell. This is coming around Lucy Curve at Glendon. Four pups. The coal would go up to Roxburgh, to Martins Creek for the power plant there. Here comes four RS-11s on a short turnaround with ore for Florence. The ore was stored everywhere when it was running. So this ore came from main floor at Bethlehem on the old CNJ. It was stored there and it's going now down to Florence to be delivered to the steel. JSA-1 leaving our tower. Now here's a westbound JB-3. This is crossing the inlet at Timmins Lock at WK. The old Western Electric building on the hill behind them, which is now home to Coca-Cola Baseball Park. In a later volume of the Anthracite Railroads in the 70s series, we'll continue our tour of the Lehigh Valley Railroad from Triclers, Pennsylvania to upstate New York.